Another lovely edition of Look at What Joe Found. I don't know where did you find this, Joe? This was another estate sale. Um, I wasn't really planning on going, and then all of a sudden I saw it and I had to go, I had to go to it. Of course. Because it was, you, the pictures were unreal of the things that they had. But what town did you go to? I'm just this was in Anoka. Oh, okay. And I got there, and there was already just tons of cars waiting. And then by the time I pulled up and got out, it was like 10 minutes before they were going to open, and people just lined up. And I was like 10th or 11th in line. Oh. And I'm like, oh, this is interesting. And then and do they only let a certain number in nope, the house? they just let everybody in. Oh, my god! Like, take your shoes off. And I'm like, well, this is going to be, you know, find your shoes later if they didn't steal them. Or so, a pair you like, right? Right, yeah, exactly. So... Okay. I went in and there was some. What did the house look like? I'm just curious. It was an old, old house. Okay, was it? Like you walked in, kitchen, living room, and then around back were bedrooms or a dining room. There was the upstairs and then the downstairs. Okay, I don't need the whole layout. <laughs> just you kidding. just asked me. No, I know, I'm teasing, but I just meant like, was it old? Did you get the feeling like it was somebody, old. somebody old. just died and you're stealing all their treasures? Because well, no, when I go with you, sometimes I get that creepy feeling like, oh. This didn't feel like it, but okay. I know what you're saying. All right. Yes. Did they have like a crunchy couch in the corner or anything? I didn't test couches. Okay, good. I mean, as you can see, I... I'm yeah. glad. Okay, sorry. We got off on a tangent. All right. So... First thing that strikes... Okay. First thing I did, I went upstairs. Always upstairs? No, because a lot of people say go downstairs because that's usually where all like the, the cool old is. stuff yeah. is. And I, you don't listen. And I should have gone rules. downstairs, but I did. Yeah. Anyways, so I went upstairs. Um, first thing I saw was like a rack full of old jackets, and I'm like, um, I don't know. And then I saw a whole bed full of hats. North and I'm like, stars, right So there. I left. Ooh. I left the jackets. Went to the hats. Yep. I found North Stars, the Phoenix Suns from the nineties. Do they even exist anymore? The Phoenix Suns. They do, but nothing. Their designer logo is not right. like that anymore. I believe and, when we first started dating, you had a Phoenix Sun something or other. An old Circus Circus hat from Vegas. Wow. I think this, I thought I saw somewhere it was like from the 80s. And I'm not sure what this thing was. I grabbed it. I thought maybe it was a Pirates, but it doesn't look like it. And then an old trucker foam hat for the moving company, yellow. And then I turned around to see with those jackets and somebody, they were gone. Dude. And I turned around and looked, and there's a guy at another bed full of old jackets, and he's just grabbing them and just he's shoving not even them. Looking. In, no, he's just grabbing old jackets and shoving them in bags. And I'm like, this is how today's gonna go. And then I was like, okay, wow, all right. And it, it was like, if you touched something, you looked at it, and you set it down, and like maybe looked at something, somebody already probably grabbed it. Yeah. It was just, I mean, there was so much old stuff. So I so found. You should have just started throwing shit in garbage bags. And I only brought one bag with. So I'm like holding a bag. And then at one point I'm holding all of these things. And I'm like, okay, okay I got to set First of all, we got to get you some 31 bags. We've Ikea. got some. Oh, Ikea. Ikea. Yeah, yeah we have, have to work on our so. emergency preparedness. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to I, I, Yeah, I mean, I should have been more prepared. but. Okay. Um, Sorry, I keep interrupting. Oh, and then when I first went into, I saw these two. E.T. Pillows. Still in the plastic, and I'm like, okay, they're two bucks each. Some collector, yeah. maybe. So there's this one is listed for forty, but none like this one has sold, and there's none of this listed at all or mm -hmm. sold. So maybe I can get lucky, and they're from 1982. Yeah. So. Interesting. But the fact they're still in their plastic, yeah. I mean, okay, mm -hmm. interesting. Um, so that that room and you know. It was just, like I said, there was just people everywhere. Um, okay, you were going to talk about that twin sweatshirt. Sorry. Yes. Uh, I think this was on the same table, but a vintage twins sweatshirt, um, the 1991. Uh, I picked up a few other, like, single-stitch shirts. 
Uh, this one was from 1980. Oh my gosh, is it a state fair shirt or something? It's just a Minnesota shirt. It doesn't even, it's just Minnesota. Spring, summer, fall, winter, winter, winter. Oh, amen to that. We got hit with snow, yeah. Well, yesterday? Two days ago. And this is an old vintage Vegas shirt, which I thought, you know, they were a dollar. I'm like, I'll give it. Oh yeah, someone's going to need that for their movie set. Right, exactly. And then they were golfers and... This is a sweater with just golfy and stuff on it, like terms. Yeah. Yes, but this one I thought was different. That might draw some attention because for on eBay. So this has got different golf courses, like um, which one? Okay. Augustine National. August. Augusta. Yes. Augusta. Oh I my know. gosh, I we are. I can't. We are slums. We don't even know how to pronounce. No. So. You know, I just grabbed it and still had the tags and all that stuff. They paid 12 bucks for it a long time ago, so I thought, I'll just we grab it. We are so we'll just... uncultured. Okay, what can we pronounce? We can pronounce all the planets at Star Wars. Oh, well. We yeah, can't that's pronounce important. golf courses, and we know nothing about cricket. That's what I've learned from mm -hmm. these last two videos about Yes. Us. And I found this vintage Squirrel nut zippers. My mom yes. loves the squirrel nut zippers. With the Haynes tag on it. Or no, a Fruit of Loom tag, which is always a, a big thing. But yeah, I was like... That's pretty cool. So, and funny thing, so I saw they had some t-shirts. They weren't... They were supposed to be vintage, but they really weren't. And I threw this in my bag. And then I came back and I was like, oh, did I grab that? And I could not find the squirrel nut zipper shirt. I'm like, dang it, somebody else grabbed it. <laughs> and then I get home and it was in my bag. You are a nerd. Oh my gosh. Oh my okay, gosh, I grabbed it. Uh, I picked up a phone for three bucks. We did good on our last phone. Yeah, the yellow one that it hangs was on the wall. So yeah. for 40 something, this will sell probably close to that. I paid three dollars for it. I just grabbed this thing. It was an old plastic puppet. So this is. Uh, Charlie the horse from Lamb Chop, you know the, oh, the little lamb. Nah, kind of okay. So I just grabbed it, it was a dollar, and I'm like, maybe it it's worth twelve bucks. Oh, so, so it's gonna be a dog toy. Mabel, yeah. Really? Or I don't know where she just went now. Maybe she went upstairs. Walking by, I saw oh. this was Fenton, and I I was just watching somebody talk about Fenton product glassware. Because we know nothing about glassware. Again, it was like a dollar. I'm like. You know what? I'll grab it. Maybe something. So, so I got that. And then, what are those boxes? Games? No. So this is an Ertel. Is the brand an F fifteen Eagle Flight? So this is complete in the box. I paid five dollars. Wait, is it the model? Is it it's, already it's put a, together? It's a play toy. Tra um, train oh, it's a train. toy. It's a okay. plane. Yes. So oh. and it's heavy. Heavy like duty. metal and is then it, plastic. It's mixing. It's not complete though. Look, it doesn't have the bubble top. All of it's in there still with the missiles and stuff. Are you sure it's got the little top? It's got the cockpit thing. Yep. Oh, it's got good. the missiles. It's got the wings here. So it's complete. And I've been there for a while and nobody even looked at this. And I quick just scanned and looked. This thing with the box is going to sell for about $120. Well, how Because it's from 1988, 85, somewhere around there. So I grabbed that. And then they had another, they had this sitting on the table, another Ertl thing, five bucks. I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's a missile strike. Yeah, so you hold the plane, like if you're flying the plane, you set up this little desert. Oh, here, I'll flip it over here. The little desert thing, push down the little things, put your tanks or whatever on it, you fly your plane over, well first you turn it on and it makes the plane noise, and when you get close you can hit the button to shoot missile and it radios to this and then the tank flips over like you shot it. Can you tell Joe wants to keep this? <laughs> I probably should because, it? no I've never seen one before. Oh, so I had so to test it, I works. tested it, no it does work. Oh that's why you're I just, so Yeah excited. that's why I was like, it does this. So it works, but it's, it sells for maybe 40 bucks. Oh, so I was really disappointed with that one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a, a model that, five bucks I paid, still new sealed. People I, like those models, though. I'm thinking about $30 for that one, so. You never told us what you paid for this whole lot yet. You never asked me. Oh, okay, wait till the end. Okay. Um, again, some, I don't know, a bunch of old ones. These two sell for about thirty bucks each. Oh, and they I kind of look like dollar store toys. They're Look's they're right Ertl brand. Oh, they're Ertl. Again, Just and like these the are Ertls. Only smaller. 
Do you remember that, that commercial? No. What? I don't know that commercial. Mm. So, yeah, these two tanks are 30 bucks each. These, I mean, they're from the 90... Yeah, 1999. I mean, not that old. But these ones are really old, though. So, yeah, 1989. So, I don't know. I just... I knew those did were they so have a lot of things new in the box like that there? They did. They were collectors or what? I don't know. I think the parents or one of them passed away and then some of the kids that were running the thing put their old stuff enough, in they there. They threw too. their stuff in too because they were like, oh, this was Mark, you know, because they were having kind of a fit doing the receipt. <gasps> were they? Of it. There's always drama at the state sales. So, One time we went to, well, I think we filmed that, and there were police there. That was because a drunk lady showed up, but there's always drama. Pushing kids around and stuff, that's yeah. right. Yeah. So, this is like at the end almost, and all of a sudden, they had sports stuff all over the place, but they had stuff sitting in this, and I was like, what is this? I turn it on, it starts working, I look it up. So, what is it? It's an old organ from the 60s. Wow. Comes, so it's Look called... Look this and, sweet bag. Right? Oh, something wrote on it. Yeah, I know. I'm not sure how I'm going to clean that up. But the a plastic that bag, up. yeah. So, looking up... $100, do they have that marked as? I don't know what that... It, Seven. I mean, that's seven hundred thousand. Seven hundred thousand, dude. We are in the made running. in Italy. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. True but story is it's not worth that much. There's none listed, none sold. Oh. And we know how those work sometimes. sometimes. So I'm hoping. I mean, if I can make. I mean, I paid. Are eight. you gonna do it as an auction then? I gotta do some more research and see. I think you should do it as an auction. Maybe. So. Walking around, I saw this sitting on a TV. So this is, this is like the first video cameras. I, I kind of remember this. So there's. Does it have any cords with it? it comes oh, with everything. Nice. It comes with the bag. So this you shove in the bag. Put it on here. The cord goes to this and records onto the tape. So you're carrying, lugging this heavy thing to your where, side. Where is the mic built into that? Yeah, there's a mic right here. Oh. And there's wow. a flash. Up above it as well. It's totally like and you, Blair Witch. We could make a Blair Witch. I mean, I should try and call Stranger Things and see if they need. And they had that on there. Is that what those kids had? Weren't they making a oh, video? Or what show are we thinking of? I don't know. I don't know. Weren't they making a movie? I don't but, know. Okay, we're getting so off topic. Um, Just turning it on. It works. It pops. I haven't thrown a tape in yet, but... Is it listed yet? Is any of this listed? No, it's not. <gasps> But this thing is at least, I mean, some people were asking 250 Whoa. And I know one sold for at least 125 and I'm not even sure if it works. So I paid, for some reason they had $3 on this and then $3 for this. Mm -hmm. So I paid 6 but oh well. I mean, oh if it's my gosh. One twenty five. Okay, so we have a couple things that might make bank. And I got one last surprise that you don't even know about. Oh my god, what? If it's a speak and spell, I'm going to die. So, as I... Is it a speak and spell? Out, don't mess with me, Joe. It is not. Uh, I don't know. Of, what? So, if it's elf, it's elf. It's I not. hate elf, you guys. I mean, so, as so. I'm checking out... Yes. They have a table in front with much, maybe more expensive things or something, like a paintball marker and then this thing. So I quick, I there's no way I could tell how old or what it was, so I did Google Lens, I looked, You're popped up. You're keeping secrets from me. From 1960s. <gasps> okay, do you want me to guess? Would I, I, I ever mean, guess? Is it I something I so. like? The funny thing is, I posted a picture of everything I found, and you never really looked at the picture, so you don't know what it even is. Is it a cartoon character? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of, but not really. Gumby. It's, no, Gumby. and it's funny because Is your best me? friend commented on my Instagram post going, oh my gosh, you should put this in your bed and scare the living crap out of Nicole with it. Oh, what? Wait, which, who's, what is it? Is, is it a freaking clown? It's pretty close. Jesus, what? It's pretty close. It's a ventral. Oh my I mean. god! No! So. Oh, ick, Joe. I can't believe you even brought that in the house. Oh, uh uh. Come so, on, show us how you make him talk. So, <laughs> we'll go to I Flip There and look at all the fantastic things 
Has this Joe been from... down in my bedroom this whole time? Uh, he was in that room over there. No, you know where he's going? <laughs> in my back trunk with yeah. the Ouija board? Yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Oh my god, no, that's true. Together. I made Joe put the Ouija board in his trunk out in the car because I didn't want it in my house because it gives me nightmares. And now I know, no, uh-uh, that thing's not. So he yet. was $34 I paid. Holy shit, Joe. You think you know, we're made out of money? <laughs> this guy's made out of money because he sells for almost $200. Wow. Well, Maybe $150, but I'm thinking closer sure. to 2 There's a different varieties, but I think he's more of an older version. So. Oh, my gosh. Who said that? Margaret Young. Yep. <laughs> Margaret Brown. She's going down. Oh, my gosh. Her and then that, when I comment, I'm like, oh, now Nicole's really going to maybe see it. But no. you didn't see it when with our busy. Instagram. So. Damn it. So, yeah. So, I paid $122 for all of this. Including that little guy? Including your best friend. Don't. Joseph. Don't say that. And if I just sell this alone, this is one twenty five easy or more. Okay. So. so, here's the story. As soon as I push stop, you yeah. are getting those three big things listed. And then quit it, Joe. And then it's going out of our house. Okay? Where are you going to put it? I don't you know. You can't put it with the Ouija board. Okay, we'll I'll set it, it in out. your passenger seat oh of your vehicle so you find okay, it tomorrow you morning. You know what? Let's spare the audience. From or your, your, your backup camera. Oh, Jesus. As you're backing up, he's like just sitting right oh, back there. That is not even funny. <laughs> that is and hilarious. You know what? Don't start. Something that you can't finish is all I can say. Really? Yeah. Um, okay. Anyhow. Well, yeah. This was a very cool sale. I this mean, was. I mean, yeah. This, this was, was fun, and it'll all be fun stuff to list, and it'll all be pretty easy to list too. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the yeah um, new and packages and. Okay, you know, so I'm I thinking mean, we better get this listed be to cover to sell. some of the. I want to keep him. Um, but. Some of the stuff. That I bought for Christmas, right? Because our, I don't know if you guys are doing anything fun for Christmas, but our Christmas is a Plinko Christmas this year. And so we um, purchased this huge, huge Plinko. Plinko. It's Mach not machine. Um, whatever. It's you a know. board. Price is right. Plinko board. Yep. And we're going to play Plinko for gifts on Christmas. And so, yeah, we'll have to include that in the video, too, because it's pretty epic. And, of course, you know, when you decide you want something, you have to find it. Right, Joe? And I wanted Plinko, and I found it on Marketplace. Yeah. It, I mean, it's like... It just I'm, happens... Price is right to be calling us to use it, because right? it's huge. <laughs> right. It just happens to have a Mazda advertisement on it. It's but, okay. Hey, we drive Mazdas, so there you you know, we're advertising. Yeah, we're weird people. We're sorry, but thanks for putting up with us. <laughs> we're glad you watch because um, who has more fun? And stay tuned to see where the, where the dummy ends up and where we put the um, the puppet too. <laughs> see what I did there? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh! All right, <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for checking us out.